In order to create an interactive image or annotate an image in ArcGIS Online, we have to kind of trick it to think that it's a map in order to add the interactivity. And to do that, we can start by going to the map tab. And we're not really gonna add any data per se to the map, we're just gonna use this uh, base map or this kind of like staging area in order to make our interactive image. S to start, we're gonna click on the arrow. We're going to go to add media layer. And so here it's gonna let us drop a file in. Now, just keep in mind, this has to be at least five megabytes is the size limitation or 6,000 by 6,000 pixels. The pixel error may not come up as much if that does happen, you'll just have to resize the image so it's a little bit smaller. Sometimes if you're downloading high resolution imagery, you'll run into this problem, but it shouldn't happen too often. So I'm going to add an image that I took earlier today. Okay, so once the image is the right size and the right pixel size, you'll see it add to the map kind of like this. It's just put on top of the map and we're going to drag it out to make it as large as possible in order to cover the majority of the map. Now you might notice it if your image is not high resolution, there may be some parts of it that will be a little distorted and that's okay. We're just kind of creating a visual effect here. I tried to leave a little bit of space just so notice that if you make it too close to the edges, sometimes it will overlap or it'll look a little strange on the edges. So that's okay if we have some on the outside because we're actually gonna cover that part up too. So here is our first image. I'm gonna hit update and close. And you'll notice it's just on top of the base map right here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cover up this base map because we don't need that anymore. So we're going to click on add, and then instead of my content, I'm going to go to Living Atlas, and in the search, I'm gonna just type in blank black base map. And you'll get something that kind of looks like this, and click add. It'll add it on top of the layer, so you just wanna redrag it so that image is on top. So there is our new map there, and we're gonna go ahead and save it. And then after we save the map, you can just scroll in and out. You'll notice that you can actually kind of drag it around. If you click on this little house, it'll just recenter it. So now that we have that done, we're going to go to our story map project. I'm just gonna go back to content. And I'm gonna hit create app and ArcGIS story map. So we want to add this to a sidecar so we can add map actions or do some other things to it. And so in the, in the menu, we're going to click on sidecar and I'm gonna pick this docked panel one just because this docked panel gives us more tools in our kind of our text box area. So I'll hit save. And then in add, we're going to go to map and here's our map that we just created. Given to kind of check it over here. Um, you might notice if you zoom in and out, it'll do that. Sometimes just hit the little house to recenter it. But I'm gonna kind of drag it to look like that and then hit save. So there is our first version of the map. And now if we want to add some interactivity to that because we can click it and zoom in and out and move it around, we can even add a map action now. So you type in zoom in and then go to the media action and edit map view. You can zoom in and out. And since we're kind of limited to a pixel size and a file size, there will be some distortion on the image. Uh, that is also okay for the purposes of the project that we're doing, but you can zoom in. And then once you have a view that you kind of like, kind of like the map tour a little bit, click on save. And now you can have interactive images. And actually, if you type in some text, you can hyperlink text to certain parts of the map. So that is just the quick way to 
create an interactive image in ArcGIS Online for the sidecar.